Welcome to my YouTube channel Study with Shweta. Today we are going to see an interesting poem. The name of the poem is Malu Bhalu. The poem is about a polar bear. Her name is Malu Bhalu. The poem tells us beautifully about the relationship between parents and their children. It explores how we learn everything from our parents and then how we go out and face the world. So let's read the poem Malu Bhalu. High up in an icy layer lived a little polar bear. Snow white, snow bright was her mane. Malu Bhalu was her name. Very soon our Malu Bhalu learned the things her parents knew. Fish to catch, big or small, Malu was a clever girl. Malu said to her mother one day, Ma, I'm going far out to play. I want to see the things that lie there beyond the big blue sky. A little patience child, said mom, in the summer when next it comes, summer patience water test, Malu simply could not rest. First things first, Malu's mom clasped Malu tight within her arms. Then she said her voice was firm, now my dear you'll have to swim. But ma, said Malu, what do I know? How will I? I've never swum before. Don't worry, dear, said Malu's mother. Do as I do, that's all, she advised her. She had no choice, no other way. Malu had to swim that day. Tight she gripped her mother's hand into the water, splashed to land. Brave mother's brave young daughter, doubt and fear she left behind her. Malu swam with all her might. It didn't matter, wrong or right. But swimming came so naturally, her mother knew this and all could see. Fearless was Malu, this she knew, not just bread but special too. So friends, this was the poem. Now let's see some difficult words from the poem. Layer means the den of a wild animal. Men means long hair on the neck of some animals. Patience means an ability to wait for some time. Clasp means hug tightly. Grip means hold tightly. Might means great strength. Now let's see the explanation of the poem. The first stanza tells us that a high up in an icy den lived a little polar bear. Her name is Malu Bhalu. Her mane is white and bright like snow. The second stanza tells us that Malu Bhalu learned the things her parents did, like catching big and small fish. The poet tells us that she is a clever girl. The third stanza tells us that one day Malu told her mother that she wanted to go out to play and also wanted to see the things which are beyond the blue sky. In the fourth stanza, we come to know that the mother of Malu Bhalu told her to have patience, that is, to wait for some time till the next summer. But Malu was shown restless. She could not rest, but she could not do but listen to her mother. The fifth stanza tells us that the first thing, Malu's mother hugged her tightly and then said in a firm voice that she had to swim. In the sixth stanza, we hear Malu's doubts and fear. Malu said that she didn't know how to swim because she never swam before. On this, her mother said in an assuring voice not to worry and do as she did. The seventh stanza tells us that Malu didn't have a choice and she had to swim that day. While swimming, she tightly gripped her mother's hand. She splashed and landed in the water with some fear. The eighth stanza tells us that Malu was a brave daughter like her mother. Very soon, she lost her doubt and fear. She swam with all her strength. It didn't matter her whether she swam right or wrong. She only swam as it came to her. The last stanza tells us that she learned swimming naturally. Her mother knew this and could see the change in Malu. Now Malu was fearless. Now she was not just brave but also special one. Isn't the poem interesting? I found the poem very interesting. The poem teaches us that we should listen to our parents because they care for us and they know what is right for us. When we listen to and follow them, we become fearless, brave and special ones. Thank you for watching my video. See you in another video.